today we're going to work on a skill. We're going to work on the bar muscle up skill. We are going to work on a few different things. So it's going to expose you to a different way of doing bar muscle ups um, when we're pat doing drills and patterning uh, some behaviors that we are trying to really solidify on the bar muscle up. Okay, so we will start off with the traditional warm up. We'll start off with some C's and D's. We'll really think about being nice and long in the shoulder and we'll go back and forth here with that C and the D. Now, once we are done with that, we'll go again into some pull ups, just getting that kipping motion uh, going uh, for this movement. So it is important to be able to do a pull up, to do a chest to bar pull up, but it is also something that is going to be helpful if we practice things in the bar muscle up, even if you do not have an actual pull up. Okay. The reason why is that maybe something here in the bar muscle up drill will help you connect some things in the pull up that maybe you didn't realize or you weren't doing. Okay, so after those kipping uh, C's and D's, we'll go into the kipping pull up, really focusing on that hip drive into this movement. All right, so from here, we would be going into that chest to bar. We'll try to go chest uh, to belly. We are trying to get our hips up as high as we can by pressing down, okay? So if you are able to do it, it would look like this. We would jump up into that, we get a good C in the D, and then we raise our body up, okay? There's a push that occurs. Now, some of you may not be able to make that connection just yet, so we have this low bar setup, okay? In this low bar setup, we are going to do just that. We are going to rock and push so that we can get that nice feeling uh, as we rise up from the bar, okay? So you'll go ahead and set yourself up. I've secured the bar with some bands, okay? And the bar is not moving. I will also have it up against the rig, so it'll help here too. We'll go ahead and start here in a nice hollow position, okay? And we're gonna have this roller right on our calves. So we'll go ahead, we'll start to move through this. We're gonna move forward of this position and back. Okay, there's this push that's happening and my body is rising up on up towards the bar. Okay, so that's gonna be that motion that we're trying to um, kind of fulfill. We don't wanna see the biceps work. We wanna actually see our lats pressing that bar down towards our hips. Our bodies will rise because of that action and we aren't going to be pulling ourselves up. So again, one last time, get your hands with your knuckles on top. It's pointing towards the ceiling. We'll have this roller here on our calves. We'll start by pushing our bodies forward and then we're gonna come up. We're pushing down, the shoulders rise, all right? And it's a good way to kind of solidify um, what that movement pattern is um, from the beginning, okay? So that's gonna be the first thing we're gonna do here. And then we'll move back over to that bar so that we can kind of practice what we just did, okay? We get ourselves down and then there's that push that we're trying to occur. Our bodies are tight just like that roller, okay? From here, we're gonna utilize the bar again for the kind of push and what's gonna happen with the body on the way up. So we're gonna take this box, now we're gonna place this box in front, and now we're gonna try to put it together. We're gonna have that push and the pop of the hips, okay? So we'll go ahead, we'll sit underneath, We'll make sure that we are feeling pretty good here in this position underneath. Notice if my knuckles are still over the bar. I think the box is a little on the high side, so I'm gonna move it to the 20 inch box. Okay, it's still gonna be relatively close to my bar. And then from here, we're gonna utilize the box to do the same motion. And then we're gonna get up on top of that box. 
you will have to find a place so someone might need to stand on the edge so the box doesn't slide it's going to give us an opportunity to use our legs a little bit more on this so from here we're going to come up and around on top all right that box moved a little bit so it did kind of kind of go a little squirrely um, on that but we are going to try to push with our legs and get that same swing up and over that um, bar okay the last thing that we'll do once we finish that we're going to go ahead and we can now go into a jumping bar muscle up so that means if you're on a small bar that you have enough space we can go ahead and start with it something high if you don't have a small bar so we'll have to get a box that'll allow you to get very close to this bar okay so right now I'm here with my chest at the bar now I'm going to crouch down I'm going to lean back I'm going to press and get on top of that bar okay so as we come through we're going to push this bar to our hips and then we're going to try to continue pushing our bar to the floor as we go so we're going to jump up and push so that I can arrive on top of this box now as I do a few reps of here uh, on here I'm going to move this down okay 30 to 24 is a six inch drop so make sure that if this is too low to go back up to do a jumping bar we're going to grab some plates and stack it a little bit higher but we're going to go ahead and progress now into uh, as low as possible if you're not able to complete that then you can go ahead and stay there and that could be the scale for the workout or you're going to go ahead and work your way all the way down to a full hang and we'll go ahead and do some bar muscle ups there